The word is a seed. And, and, and the enemy didn't omit all of the word. Oh, y'all ain't helping me here. Uh, he admitted just some things so that it could get you thinking. And then got you throwing away your Bible. Now, I have a missionary friend in Ghana. And they had a spoken language. But they never had a written language. So the missionaries translated their spoken language into the Bible. Y'all ain't helping me. And so they sent me a copy of it. It's not exactly the same as the King James Version or the Greek Version. Matter of fact, before you throw your Bibles away, make sure that you're comparing it to the Greek and the Hebrew, not the New King James or the King James. Come on, somebody. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I'm trying to help somebody today. I'm trying to I'm getting you help because right now what is happening is the body of Christ is getting fragile by all of the stuff the world is doing. And it is causing us to stop doing things that God told us to do. I come to tell somebody that the word of God is still alive. It's still powerful. It's still sharper than any two-edged sword. It pierces, it divides us under, even unto the soul and the spirit. It gets to every joint, it gets to every marrow of the bone, and it's yet a discerner of every intent and every thought of a man's heart. I still believe the word of God is infallible. I still believe the word of God is inspired by God. I still believe that one day God breathed this word of God out and it is saving soul. Now, if you do away with the gospel, then we might have a problem. So devil, if you want to omit some scriptures from the Bible, you better just leave the gospel alone because the only reason we call ourselves as Christians is because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Paul said if we don't have the death, if we don't have the burial, and we don't have the resurrection, then there is no Christ. So you're going to have to give me more than a clip or a glimpse of a shot with some scriptures that are omitted from some things because I found them omitted in some of my other translations. Come on, somebody. And then I've read my King James Version, and then when I got to the Hebrew and the Greek, I found that some of that was translated wrong. But the Bible says, great is the mystery of God. There's some things I might not understand, but what I do understand, that God is yet who he is. And in the beginning was the Word, and the Word Share that with y'all. Hallelujah.